the former finance minister was taking notes when you were talking. I saw a lot of that. He, t he told us where we came from and what they are doing so far. There's a bigger concern about whether or not these promises governments make uh, with the fullest appreciation of what they are likely to meet in office. In fact, the MPP has consistently talked about the reality being way different from what they met in office, that what government was portraying to them <coughs> prior to the time. That's why they are not moving at the pace that they ought to move in this particular case. From the indication is given, are we on the right track, Mr. Tekbe? Well, <clears throat> thank you very much, and uh, good morning to your listeners and viewers. We are certainly not on the right track, <clears throat> and um, I, would, I would give reasons why. You see, the irony is, <clears throat> uh, Prof, with all respect, you know, blamed the interest rate, you know, for the non-performance, you know, of the economy. That is a problem. Ignoring the problems that the economy was going through and going ahead to be making promises was one of the fundamental mistakes of this government. <clears throat> when you blame interest rates, it's known that the economy, the world economy will rebound. And mm -hmm. therefore, you have to plan for it. But the setting, let's look at the setting. When an economy is on a rebound. So is it interest or exchange rate? Exchange, you know, you spoke about the, the yes. I believe we were talking about the US, okay, you yes. know, so 10 years, which is the you know, uh, interest rate, okay. which, which drives, you know, much of investment. Of course, then the dollar strengthens. Mm -hmm. And that means that, you know, currency suffer. But I'm saying that the trajectory. Text is there for, you can't have a recovery without a depression. And we know that the, the, we had a global financial crisis, which took over a decade. You know, we had the break. And table for clearance. What is it that happened? Check the 2017 budget. There was an offset. Why? Because if you say that I have 7 billion, I left 7 billion, you must bring it forward into 2017 and pay the 7 billion. This was not done. It wasn't done. And this is why we say that it was, and it's clear. I'm, I'm asking for people to look at you know, that aspect you know, carefully. I have it. If we had PowerPoint, I would have shown it. For, forgive me, but no, excuse, let me ask, me, let me, let me ask let the minister let me, to corroborate me. this point for me. No, no, excuse me. If the arrears came down to zero in 2017, right, as was claimed, what happened to the, the 7 billion? billion, how come we are saying now that we are making provision to pay the very contractors who were supposed to have paid in 2017? 